ಅಮೃತವಾಣೀ ಓ ಪ್ರೇಮವಾಣೀ ಓ ಪ್ರೇಮವಾಣಿ ಅಮೃತವಾಣೀ grace and blessings of the lord be always upon you dear brothers and sisters in christ today the 16th of november the good god is asking us to stand stand still don't give up persevere be with me stand don't give up it takes lot of courage to stand look at peter ready to walk on water but when the storm hit him on the face couldn't stand he was sinking look at judas was with the lord but when the 30 pieces of silver was thrown on his face couldn't stand he fell look at james and john when that temptation to stay sit at the right and left of the lord came to them couldn't stand look at all the disciples the apostles of jesus the 12 of them leaving judas who hanged himself all the 11 basically what did they do by leaving john who was at the cross the others fled couldn't stand look at our lady she stood at the cross she persevered she persevered because she understood the heart of god she understood the plan of god today the lord asks us to stand how long lord i'm keeping on asking you i'm not getting it how long as long as you get it you will get it trust in me says the lord that woman went on knocking at the door of the church nay went on asking him and finally the judge gave in to her plea to a continual plea and he provided justice i should learn to be perseverant persevere in faith do not give up that too easily dear brothers and sisters if my eyes are towards the lord the challenge of the world cannot challenge me so therefore the scope of asking how long at the face of the troubles will be lesser but if my sight is towards the world and it really really get difficult for me when we are waiting for the bus at the bus stop without doing anything just our eyes towards the road from which the bus can come if we just stand that way you know how difficult it gets to wait but instead of that if you make yourself busy with maybe a game or maybe some other thing or reading some scripture or listening to some music and you get yourself lost in that waiting becomes easier time just passes by and then by the time you know the bus is already there so we should get ourselves totally in the lord and not in the world then the waiting the being perseverant becomes easy going on asking waiting standing becomes easy but if we always stress on the negativity of life not yet come not yet happening not happen becomes difficult get busy not busy with the phones as i said in the example get busy with the lord get immersed not into the music get immersed in the lord and start playing not games playing with the word enjoying the word relishing 
the word, cherishing the word, then you see that weight becomes a joy. We stand without our legs aching. So we stand strong in the Lord and the Lord will come. The Lord will keep our word. Why should I stand and be perseverant? Because we believe in the Lord who neither deceives nor can be deceived. Therefore, we are to be perseverant. We are supposed to persevere for the Lord to unveil, unfold his plans for us. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 11 says, chapter 30 verse 11, 29 verses 11 says, I have plans for you, plans for your well-being and not for your destruction. Jeremiah 29 11 says, I have plans for you, plans for your well-being and not for your destruction. So, if I know that the Lord God has great plans for me, then I will not be moved by the things of this world. So, let us close our eyes and make this little prayer. Eternal Father God, help me to trust in you enough and in that trust let me be standing and not be moving into the directions of the world and following and hurting myself, so that I may never lose you. But Lord, I want to be with you and that is the purpose and goal of my life. I make this prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.